tonight here at Miller Park. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Now from Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, MLB The Show is proud to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here, as it'll be the Washington Nationals taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian, delighted to be back for another season here on the show. With me, as always, are two of the best around, Dave Campbell and Eric Karros. And Dave, let's turn to you first. What catches your eye here in this matchup? Well, this is a compelling matchup because both of these teams feature young players that have come up through the system. Although it's nice to be able to go out and load up through free agency, most great teams have needed to build their nucleus through the farm system. The youngsters we see today could very well be the cornerstones we see tomorrow. All right, Dave, thanks. And we'll hear from Eric as we move along. But first, let's check the starting lineup for the visiting Washington Nationals. It's brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll be opposed by the American League's Cy Young Award winner from 2009, the hard-throwing right-hander Zach Grinke. And there you see a look at the defensive alignment behind him for the Brewers. Roger Bernardino will move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And Weeks will flip to first, and that's out number one. Our umpires for tonight's contest, Porter Callahan has the assignment behind the plate. Crew Chief Dutch Nelson is at first. Cowboy Joe Watson out at second, and at third is Woody Keller. Ian Desmond is at the plate as he watches ball one. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. The 1-0 pitch. Trying to keep the ball down here as this one finds the knees for strike one. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. And Braun will handle this one for round number two. Well, Matty, two up, two down. He's looking for a one, two, three first inning. So two are gone now for Ryan Zimmerman. Now a ball line softly down the right field line. And that's a fair ball. Let's check this out from our overhead camera and see how he reaches those arms out to cover the outside part of the plate. That's a great job of not trying to do too much up there. So a runner at first with two away and stepping in is the first baseman Adam LaRoche. Swing and a shot toward right center. Hart is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Good first inning that time for Zach Grinke. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. Starting lineup for the Brewers, again brought to us by State Farm. They'll match up against an imposing presence indeed. The number one overall pick in 2009, hard-throwing right-hander Steven Strasburg.
And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. About set to go in the bottom of inning number one now as the second baseman Ricky Weeks settles in. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. And this will be fouled away. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Catch made out there by Ankeel, and there is one away. And I would imagine he was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. And here's another fly ball. This one's heading out to center field. And Bernardino will pull this one in. Two gone now. Ryan Braun will dig in now. The starting left fielder on last season's NL All-Star team. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Late swing as this is laced down the line. Over to first with it is LaRoche, and that will be that. Brewers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning in Milwaukee. No score on the show. Jason Worth leads things off now in the top half of the second. And Grinky gets ahead with the fastball. Nothing in one. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And if you miss, you want to miss inside. Don't make a mistake belt high out over the plate. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And a pretty feeble effort that time as this is tapped in front of the mound. Rick Ankeel will take his cuts now. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute in this at bat. And here's a swing and a miss on a good pitch that time as they move in front of Ankeel, 0-2. And he's hitting 98 here early on. He's definitely got the live fastball, that's for sure. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 from Grinke. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Hit hard towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. And how about this to start the inning? Back-to-back -back lineouts. There are easier ways to get two straight outs, but in the end, I think he's going to be happy to take it. Wilson Ramos stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance. Dickerson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Good work there by Zach Grinke. It remains nothing, nothing. Prince Fielder will start things off in the bottom of the second. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And this will squeeze by LaRoche down the line, a fair ball. Around first on his way to second now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Boy, he might have been thinking he was still throwing his warm-up pitches because that first pitch of the inning was right down Broadway and got turned around for two bases. 
Casey McGee is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Not the most convincing start to an at-bat there. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Chris Dickerson will get his first cuts here. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. He'll go to the back for one. Very important to get that first run of the ball game. And that's an especially good sign when you're able to team up and manufacture it like they did right there. Left field. And Keel comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Jonathan Lucroy steps in now. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. About time, boys. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Now a bullet toward third. And no shot there for Zimmerman. It's a fair ball. And it bounces around down there now. And the run's going to come in to score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. Second run of the inning home there on the RBI double. And now they've forged ahead to a two-run lead. Zach Grinke swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Folks, that is definitely a pitcher's swing right there. Comes set, now the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Pretty good discipline there as a pitcher to hold it back. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, and he was barely able to hold back on that last pitch, but this time he just couldn't help himself. And this is fouled back and out of play. Line hard, but foul. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. Hit hard to third, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Danny Espinoza is ready to go here as we begin the third. Now a ball lined to the right side. But right at the first baseman fielder, one away. Steven Strasburg digs in at the plate. Now the first pitch. Lays off 1-0. Had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. And a breaking ball lined into left field, a base hit. And this is where that old line for pitchers really applies. Swing hard in case you hit it. He looked pretty good there picking up the base hit. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Boy, they're just hacking at everything. I mean everything. Fouled straight back. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And that ball is gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Nationals have battled back to tie this one at two apiece. Ian Desmond.